YouTube! Today, we have the Mario Odyssey Kingdom Pass, but this time, it is 100% completed. Wow, amazing. For those unaware, a while back, about a month or two ago, I made Wave 1 of the Super Mario Odyssey Kingdom Pass, and then a little after that, I made Wave 2. However, we are here with a full game through play playthrough. That's the word. We are here for a full playthrough of the Super Mario Odyssey Kingdom Pass. And yes, all three waves, it was originally going to be four, but having the last level of its own wave was kind of stupid. So all four waves, 100% completely a thing. And yeah, let me do some explaining before we move on. So for those unaware, I did mod Odyssey for a little bit, but this is like my, my first big project for Odyssey. And with this big project, I was like, you know, I didn't want to go for like a more in-depth game. I wanted to go for a more simple game, I guess the word is. Yeah, no, I wanted to go for more just explore the area. Like, I want to focus more on the scenery and the level than the moons. Does that make sense? So yeah, with that in mind, if we get 100 likes on this video, I will be sure to make, um... A, a sequel yeah that's what i meant to say for 100 likes we get a sequel to the mario Odyssey kingdom pass maybe the kingdom pass 2 i have no idea we'll figure it out but for now let's just play through the game which would not be 100 percent by the way yeah i think nine kingdoms to go 100 percent is kind of a dumb idea so we're just gonna play until we get all of the moons we can which yeah the point of this is for you all to play it if you so desire i might do maybe a full playthrough of like each kingdom in its own like video we'll see but for now we're gonna get one of each king we're gonna bleh, not for now we're gonna get every kingdom into this video and just a minor playthrough of them that's all but yeah no this again isn't supposed to be an in-depth playthrough in fact this whole thing in general is not supposed to be an in-depth um pack it's supposed to be just explore the new kingdoms just play around with them type thing you know i know i keep kind of repeating myself but i want to make that very clear that this isn't meant to be like oh my god this is literally gonna be odyssey 2 i mean you can make it odyssey 2 if you interpret it that way like but this is more just in my head at least just another kind of take on the odyssey gameplay formula but yeah one of the big things with the super mario odyssey kingdom pass is that this isn't actually um a full game well okay you can start off with the new save but not every single kingdom in the base game is actually replaced in fact it's only replaced up to the luncheon kingdom believe it or not so yes that does mean th um one two yeah i think th four of the base game kingdoms before the mushroom kingdom are not replaced the cloud kingdom the ruined kingdom yeah ruined kingdom bowser kingdom actually that yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. You do the math. I'm just here to showcase this. Speaking of which, we're almost done with Tropical Kingdom. And with this Chainshot Moon we're going to get over here, we are going to get the final moon we need, at least, to move on and just make it onto the next kingdom. Which, fun fact, if you don't know the next kingdom, it's the Candy Kingdom. Because that is what I was doing in the original. And it's still the Candy Kingdom. That part hasn't changed. All right, now we got the Odyssey. Let's just move on to the Candy Kingdom. This might also play some funny ha ha intro stuff. I don't know. It's been a while since I played the beginning of this game. So, yeah, I don't actually pay attention to the animations. But, you know, hey, it's funny, okay? Also, I want to mention, for those who played the original versions of the Kingdom Pass, if you notice the skybox looks just slightly better, it's because it is. I um, figured out I could just make the skybox look better. And sure enough, it looks nice. All right, we, we were doing the tropical kingdom, but now we are moving on to the candy kingdom, which is the second kingdom in the Super Mario Odyssey Kingdom Pass. Let's check out Lollipop Land. All right, this is the candy kingdom. The last kingdom, I believe, required 10 moons to move on. I think it's the same thing here. We'll check in a second. Okay, yeah, no, it's 10 moons. This one is a bit more simpler. Well, a bit more complex, actually, not simpler. And it does have a sub area, which you can see right at the beginning. And yeah, I'm not going to do the sub area unless like, I just forget to stand by that. But yeah, no, the sub area is in this. This is the first, yeah, no, this is the first kingdom with a sub area, which I actually think it's a really nice sub area. It's based off a of Mario Kart Wii custom track I made because I didn't, I do make those still for um, the Mario Kart Wii. So, you know, I decided to design one with a very, 
very similar theme. Why not port that into this game for the minor sub area? Because it's a sub area, so it, I feel like for a sub area, it's fine if like it's an outright port from something. Which, I mean, granted, I say that, but like it's still custom, so it depends on what you feel. But yeah, we're already at two moons in the Candy Kingdom. I'm really excited just to see what can be pulled off here. Let's go find more moons in the kingdom. I think there's actually a couple near the start now that I think about it. I mean, those are kind of all behind the start, but I believe there are a few kind of near this area still. Also, yeah, hammer bros, they're protecting the pipe. I wasn't originally going to a cheese moon, but I'm kind of dumb and can't figure that out. But you know, sometimes it's being done. Yeah. All right, I believe that will put us at four moons, which means we are almost halfway through this part of the kingdom, which honestly, kind of fast i didn't realize if you speed run practically through these it can go by very fast just because it's more sandboxy area i guess the wording is so naturally a sandbox world will be a lot more linear per se you know because like or not linear i'm stupid a lot more smaller in this case so it does actually make sense why it is like this why it's just a smaller area of the uh, small uh, more faster that's english is hard today okay all right we have a moon up there as well let's get that moon real quickly you just gotta boop boop and boop all right now they're up here we can collect the single green moon up here the giant candy hills yeah the moons do have custom names i'm kind of self-explanatory but you know might as well mention it for the funsies lol all right i've been slowly collecting the moons but now we only have one moon left to go and yeah i mean i will say if you want to play the game yourself or the mod uh well it's the same thing if you want to play the thing yourself i will link a game banana download to in the description below check it out if you want to play and in the game banana link i will also um link the amount of moons that are in each kingdom and I can confirm this, well, the last one had, I think, actually, I'm not going to confirm anything yet, but hey, you can check it out and the moons links or the amount of moons will be there. And in total, the whole kingdom pass was 152 moons. Yeah, that is quite a lot of moons actually. And yeah, that's it we have for the candy kingdom. Just a small selection of moons I wanted to show that exist. And yeah, let's go into the next kingdom and the final kingdom for wave one of the kingdom pass, the Windy Kingdom. And on the way to the Windy Kingdom, I just want to say that the f these kingdoms were really fun to make. So again, if you want me to make more of this stuff, be sure to just like the video or even subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Because I really enjoyed making these. Yes, it took me a while to make wave three, but I'm really happy I finally finished this and got this off my chest. So, yeah, excited to show it to you all. But nonetheless, for now, we have the Windy Kingdom, which was kind of based off Windy Valley from Sonic Adventure at first, but kind of made its own thing. And this one has, yeah, also 10 moons. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of moons with 10s, huh? But yeah, no, with this musical note moon that is to the right of the Odyssey, and the moon you saw behind the Odyssey, that's already two moons right here. And there's actually a third one pretty nearby, which, just since it's the Windy Kingdom, you have to ride the wind to get up there. I mean, it kind of makes sense that at least a couple of the moons require you to um, ride the wind because, you know, Windy Kingdom. Also, this is definitely going to be worth mentioning that this is actually the first kingdom in the Kingdom Pass that has nothing under you. So, <laughs> yeah, the other two had floor or water. You can still die, but it wasn't like if you fall off your screw type thing. But no, this one, you fall off, you ain't gonna live to tell the tale. Well, Mario won't. You probably will. Also, here's another Ride the Wind Moon. Let's get it. I am a complete idiot, Dad. Haha, <laughs> I completely missed it. Let's get it again. Okay, there we go. Now we got literally Ride the Wind. Yeah, this kingdom is actually a very quick one if you speed run it. I mean, in all fairness, all of them would be, I think. Honestly, yeah, no, that's... This Kingdom Pass would be a probably interesting for speedrunners. So, hey, if you speedrun it, you can just join my Discord and just let me know that, hey, I sped run your thing and I'm fast or something. That would be epic. Or you could just ping me on Twitter. Whatever works for you. Just, if you decide to speedrun, show me. I would be 100% interested. Can I just note, I started doing the Windy Kingdom three minutes ago. I don't, like, the moon's on um, the other kingdom, Candy Kingdom, more spread out. And it took me a bit, um, about this long to do, um, the other kingdom, the tropical kingdom. So yeah, 
Uh, okay, I'm so smart. Also worth mentioning that this one does have a sub area on its own as well. As you know, Mario Odyssey's um, Candy Kingdom had a sub area. So does this one. And uh, this one you might recognize from another Mario game. So if you know, you know. If you don't know, stay tuned. I'll maybe do it in the future. I think the fitting moon to get for last in this kingdom is the opposite end of the Odyssey, aka, haha, <laughs> the end of the road. All right, let's go back to the Odyssey and just get to the wave two kingdoms. So it actually only requires 30 moons to get into all of the wave one kingdoms being finished. However, you can get 18 extra moons, making a total of 48 moons in Mario Odyssey's Wave 1 Kingdoms. So yeah, that is very interesting. All right, let's go on to the Cave Kingdom, which for those who don't know, this is a cave. And I will tell you where the inspiration is from. So for those who are unaware, there was this Mario, not Mario, Kirby King, Kir Kirby King, Kirby game, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and there was this cave background. I saw in a file and I'm like, dude, that's such a good inspiration. So I took that inspiration. However, this one doesn't quite need the 10 moons. This one only needs eight. So this one's gonna probably be one of the quickest ones we do because I think this and another kingdom only require eight. So yeah, if that doesn't say anything, yeah, it's quick. And just like the other two, this one had a sub, or has a sub area as well, not had. I'm sorry, English is difficult today. But this is probably my favorite kingdom from this. Actually, no, my second favorite from this wave. Uh, third, first, fa third favorite's next. First favorite is obviously the last one I did. Because, you know, that kind of is how stuff works out. But this one's actually close up there. This is actually, um, for those who don't know, a lot of these kingdoms from waves 1 and 2 were actually remade eventually. So that's why it took so long for wave 3 to come out. Because I did end up remaking waves 1 and 2. And thank god i did because they are so much funner to play old old um this one the old version of this was fun and good but it wasn't great great but i think this is a big step in an improvement 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 so that's just my opinion but hey that's cool but yeah just like the other two kingdoms <laughs> this one goes by really quickly i mean it makes sense it's only eight moons required and a lot of the moons are, well, kind of on the open because this is a more of an open kingdom because, you know, it's a cave. It's supposed to feel kind of empty. And I like the idea I actually had of playing two rooms. I'm not going to lie. Also, I don't know why I think this moon's fun. Just hiding the shards along everything here. I don't know why. I just think it's kind of cool hiding these shards just like with the coins. Cool concept in my opinion but yeah with that shard moon we got the last moon for the cave kingdom in the super mario odyssey kingdom pass let us go and get to the odyssey now of course the next kingdom would be well the cloud kingdom and you guessed it it's a boss battle kingdom so it's actually still the cloud kingdom so i'm not gonna dwell too much on that so we're just gonna skip that yeah Let's get to the, let's just get to the next kingdom. Dude, I don't know why I'm always like shaking viciously in this boss battle. It's funny though. It is funny. All right, we finished that kingdom. And now we're onto the toxic flame kingdom, which is a land of parallel dimensions. So, you know, yeah, if you've seen this, you may know that there's two parts to this kingdom. The toxic part, this part, and the flame part. The other part, the really cool thing about this kingdom though, is that they're actually like almost identical in um, layout. I think the only difference is the trees are different placements between one another, which is actually really cool in my opinion, because like, it's like, hey, that's the, there's something there in the other dim dimension, which like middle of the coins here, there's a moon here in this one, but in the flame one, there's a moon right here. So it's kind of cool just to see the differences and the visual differences as well. Yeah, we're gonna actually have to explore the Flame Kingdom to complete this because there's only 12 moons in the toxic part. So I'm gonna have to get to the Flame Kingdom. This kingdom might actually be the longest one. So yeah, actually, no, it is the biggest one in the Kingdom Pass, fun fact. It's probably my least favorite of the ones I have though, sadly. It's either this or candy I don't actually like that much. I don't know why, this is, I'm not a big fan of them, which is funny because they're both the second kingdom. Honestly, all of my Kingdom Pass kingdoms, the second one of the their pass, or the wave, 
probably my least favorite for some reason in both scenarios did i just do that well now that i'm an idiot box and did that let's just uh, go, go and get more moons please one of my favorite things i did with this kingdom though is actually the big tree in the middle which exists in both versions i believe of the kingdom it's just obviously the tree models definitely a different version of the tree model in the other kingdom than it would be here but still really cool that both of them have that little same similarity you know it's it's just something cool the cool little minor details like that you know also yeah you can probably tell this resembles the um the lost kingdom actually very much in theming so this kind of an interesting point i wanted to make that yeah this goes over lost kingdom and this part especially definitely a very reminiscent of the lost kingdom like extremely reminiscent honestly but yeah to keep the videos um comments up and stuff let me ask you what is your favorite um kingdom that is in the kingdom pass which obviously don't comment yet because right now we are just kind actually no this is the middle point of the kingdom pass but comment down below if you have a favorite kingdom and if you have your least favorite you can also say hey I don't like this one as much, but it's still cool. You know, those type of things. Interesting stuff. There's one thing I want to point out about it is don't go to my comments and be a douchebag about it because that's not going to help anyone. That's not going to help you, me. That's not going to help with you. Just be constructive if you do have anything you want to point out. Of course, like any other mod should be, honestly. Trust me, not being a jerk can get you a long way. Let's get this little Goomba because he actually died last time. So let's just bring him up here. Then we gotta get this boy. Then we gotta land on this boy. And then we gotta get this moon right here. And of course, we got poisonous Goomba stacking. Wow. Amazing. I kind of just ended up showing all the moons in this part of the kingdom. I also ended up dying. Yeah, I almost showed all the moons in this part of the kingdom. There will only be two more left in this part. So I'm just gonna like move on to the flame part of the kingdom. And just hope you didn't see the other two because I want to keep at least some of it um you know hidden for the players who are really wanting to play this and keep it like a blind type thing because obviously that's fair it's it's uh, yeah funny so yeah the flame part of the kingdom's right here let's get right in to the flame part of the toxic flame kingdom which there's already a moon right here just to show that hey you made it gamer I don't know if I like this one or the toxic part one more I do think the poisonous part is probably better in my humble opinion oh do you want else is better me dying uh, oh i didn't actually die that's a first for something haha <laughs> funny i got a vitamin real quickie before you know i accidentally hit something and probably die in the process he's dying fun fact ain't a pretty um substance of life meanwhile i almost hit like 15 spinies in the process and i almost hit another one right there that's 16. at least there's a moon right here to get just to oh no 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 okay this is scarier than i actually anticipated because i'm kind of dumb but hey we got moon we're healed we're healed branch is missing moon because fun fact the branch is out of moon but now it's missing aha yes and i think it'd be not fitting just to get the moon which the odyssey would be at in the other part of the kingdom because fun fact if i were to do this you see the bench here right let's go back to the odyssey real quick we fun fact the bench is still right there ha ha yes that's where the Odyssey would be. Yeah, let's move on to the last kingdom of wave two, which is of course the haunted kingdom. The one I'm really liking in wave two and probably my favorite one in the wave two pack. That's right, here is the elusive haunted kingdom. Let's get this one out of the way. This one has 10 moons as well, which means yeah, pretty quick, not too slow. Yeah, but this is kind of the last one. I'm not gonna go too much into detail with. Obviously the other ones, I'm not gonna collect every moon still. That's kind of unfair, but this one, I've literally almost the exact same as the last time. The other ones have very minor changes with either visuals or something else. This one is literally like a copy and paste, so <laughs> funny. There's literally not much for me to say, so if this kingdom goes by very quickly, you know why? It's because I'm dead. I can't do much if I'm dead. Those are some things I do really want to point out with this kingdom. Yes, you might have played Super Mario Galaxy. Yes. This is Super Mario Galaxy and Mario Odyssey. Funny. And you may be asking yourself, well, ZPL, how do you know this is a Mario Galaxy? Because this is from Mario Galaxy, you nimwit. Actually, though, this might be my favorite kingdom in the, um, definitely between wave one and wave two, my favorite. And honestly, 
getting up there for being my favorite and just in general i think there is one more no two more kingdoms from wave three i like more so yeah wave three is kind of a good one if you can tell but yeah we just have one more moon for wave two of the mario odyssey kingdom pass which the wave two and actually wave three have 52 moons in general so yeah that with the 48 moon that indeed makes 152 moons in the whole kingdom pass which is what i said before so math it's knowledge but yeah that's it for this kingdom let's go on to the next kingdom which is probably my second favorite kingdom in the whole kingdom pass the ice cream kingdom which you know this one this is heavily based on galaxy right well imagine this taking that exact same concept for the ice cream kingdom which phenomenal kingdom very good wonder why is good just like the haunted kingdom well it's not like it's from a certain game or anything like hmm, what game would it be from oh shit that's galaxy yeah this actually uses assets from um sky high sunday from mario kart 8 deluxe and mario galaxy which is the main part of the model main part of the model is actually galaxy and um background stuff is sky high sunday slash galaxy so yeah probably my second favorite kingdom i don't know what it is this one just really makes me happy of the theming the sky the visuals the everything because i like everything and just like the other two kingdoms it needs or other not two other literally every other kingdom but two it needs only 10 moons which actually i think is the last time of this trend being used here yeah because the other one actually no the other i think the uh the next one needs it oh i'm stupid so i know this part of the recording has only been five minutes and we are almost done with this part funny how that works out yeah no this kingdom is really cool though i'm glad this one came out the way i wanted it to honestly even better than i wanted it to i'm not used to having this much power okay i'm just not why look are we kind of hard to make very good stuff in for visually specifically but this game huh you can make good visuals for breakfast which with good visuals for breakfast you get the final moon of the ice cream kingdom and the next kingdom actually my least favorite of this part of the kingdom pass ironically enough but it's probably like my fifth or sixth kingdom that's my favorite overall you know just kind of comes to show how pretty good this one is not gonna lie so imagine this animal crossing phenomenal game in some people's eyes new horizons is one of the best selling games of all time make a kingdom based off that specifically the crossing kingdom which it's kind of a unique kingdom because it's actually the one with more than two sub areas ice cream kingdom and haunted kingdom had no sub areas but this one has a whopping four areas because if you don't know there's something called seasons in real life and animal crossing so take that concept apply it to animal crossing or mario odyssey boom you have the grassing kingdom which i think no definitely no it is my favorite kingdom in this well not my favorite my least favorite in this part of the past but god dang it is still really nice and it actually has a lot of life to it ironically enough because of that well not because of that but you know what i mean yeah you can literally see the winter sign up there actually so with that winter sign you can kind of tell there's four seasons is this would obviously be the summer one because damn it this ain't autumn and with this summer one um yeah each of them have six moons all of them man. summer is kind of you you don't really see the pipe but summer is the green pipe springs to pink winter's blue and autumn's orange and fun fact that makes a lot of moons and there's actually a beach side back here so you know the sky's not the limit there's quite a big area in this kingdom and honestly I took a while to model this one, and it's kind of sad it's my least favorite of this wave, but it's still really good. Honestly, it's not my least favorite because, like, it's not, it's bad in this wave. I just think it's because I had to focus on four different parts, uh, it kind of didn't come out all great. Some of it's really good, but a few of them visually kind of don't stand up to what I, I would personally like my kingdoms to be. But it's not bad. It ain't horrible. We can live with it. Haha. Uh -huh. Also, yeah, again, 10 moons. I forgot about that in this one. Haha, uh -huh, yes. And ironically, the Odyssey is in all four of the areas. But if you went into the Odyssey, you would actually just come out in the summer one, no matter what season you're in. So you can go into the Odyssey all you want. You just come out in the summertime. Maybe you hibernate in the autumn. I don't know. That ain't my problem to tell. 
But the other one I want to show, especially right now, is Autumn. Let's go into the Autumn. I think out of this one, this would be my favorite season visually of them. Because, I don't know why, sunsets are always my thing. I don't, can't explain why. Just, I love sunset visuals in literally any game. Any game. I don't know why. I just love them. But yeah, each season has six moons in each season of the thing. Two of the moons all on the beach. I think except one of them. I can't remember. But there's at least one or two moons on the beach part. And four, the other four or five moons on the main part. And no, uh, before you go out asking, hey, ZPL, are there any moons under the water? No, there are no moons under the water. I am sorry for your loss. But yeah, we only have one moon left. And I believe there's only one moon left actually in the autumn. So yeah, let's just find the one on the beach side real quick. Dude, I thought the spring signboard was actually a, a moon. Kind of ironic because, you know, both the seaside moons and the moon on the signs are both purple slash pinkish. So I got mistook, mis mixed up by that. Funny enough. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Let's take the shortcut to the summer one because I forgot there is a moon in summer. So let's see what's going to go through Odyssey. It's autumn. Boom. Now it's summer. I have been native gamers. Let's get this quick shard moon real quick just to get this out of the way. The Goomba's tracing me is funny. Not going to lie. And this will put us at the moon mark of the epic moon count of 10. Wow. Honestly, it'd probably be faster for me just to walk through the Odyssey here because it's literally right over here. But yeah, no. That's the second to last kingdom in the kingdom pass. We have one more left. One more. One. And honestly, this next kingdom is probably my favorite kingdom because the concept I love, the visuals I love, it's pretty simple, but I feel like it's a good way to end it off. The retro kingdom, which you may be thinking, oh, Super Mario Bros. That's generic. Yeah, it's a kind of different of kind of retro. Pretty safe to say that a lot of people on this earth played Mario Kart. I mean, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is one of the best-selling games of all time and the best-selling Switch game of all time. But, yeah, we have Mario Kart. Yeah, I, I'm a Mario Kart modder, so I'm like, you know, Last Kingdom making it a Mario Kart kingdom would be hilariously pleasant in my eyes. So, there's two parts of this kingdom. There's the Donut Plains one, as you can literally see right now. Because fun fact, this is Donut Plains. I don't know if you can tell, but it's donuts. I love donuts. But yeah, this Donut Plains, um, this is actually Donut Plains 2 because I had a model for it. And there's another one, the Mario Circuit part of the kingdom, which if you couldn't tell or couldn't figure it out, based off Super Mario Kart's Mario Circuit, which one is Mario Circuit 4? I might as well just reveal that. It's not like I'm going to do a big reveal just to see Mario Circuit 4, okay? But yeah, this one is the smallest of any kingdom in the Kingdom Pass. In fact, it only has... I'm not even kidding. It's 12 moons. It's, it's a very small kingdom. But I wanted a more chill kingdom to end off the whole Kingdom Pass. So that's kind of why we only have a very, very small kingdom. But I think it's really nice to end it off on something more of a simple thing rather than like some advanced crap that no one wants to play because it's too hard or something like that. You know, you know what I mean? But yeah, before we end this off, let's go show the Mario Circuit part of the kingdom. And then I'll do my outro from there because you know, not much to do, it's just Mario Circuit 4. I think the scaling is actually a bit smaller. Unironically, also pun. But yeah, that's basically it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and join my Discord if you haven't already. And be sure to see you guys next time for some more Mario Odyssey Kingdom Pass slash Mario Odyssey slash I'm Dying by Goomba slash Mario Kart. Whatever I feel like that day. Peace out, gamers.